What's going on with all my money motivated styles? Now, it's going to be a quick video about the violence that's been going on in Memphis. I heard earlier that one of Black Youngster's brothers got killed. If you don't know who that is, that's a Memphis rapper. Because a lot of people don't be knowing who these rappers are sometimes. So, in my videos, I make sure I explain who they is. He's signed to Yo Gotti. He's under the CMG record label. And... I don't even know, like, it's it's crazy because a lot of stuff in the star going, star back popping off in Memphis. It really never stopped, you know what I mean? Just like, I think a month ago, was that a month? Or it was it was no longer than two months ago that the Teasy guy who was allegedly involved in dog murder, he got killed, you know what I mean, in the area where I'm from. So it's nonstop killing going on in Memphis, but I'm just... You know what I mean? I'm trying to see where I'm finna start from. Should I address the fans first or should I address the people? I'm just finna address the fans, you know what I mean? Now I'm gonna address the, the rappers first, you know what I mean? A lot of these rappers gotta stop getting their family involved in a lot of this beef, you know? Rappers don't understand. When rappers get frustrated, sometimes they put a lot of stuff in their music that they shouldn't say just because they mad. But at the time, they really don't care. And probably after and years later, they still probably won't care. But they got to understand, man. Just because you're emotionally attached to a situation and you feel like you have to put a certain thing in a song, think about the lives that could leave this planet just off a song you drop. Just off of this song. Just off mentioning somebody, baby mama. Just, I don't, you know what I mean? Like... We got to go back to the Dolph situation. Everybody's saying R.P. Dolph and all that. You know what I mean? Rest in peace. You know what I mean? But he did go back and humiliate. I don't know if God it was humiliated, but it would humiliate. It would uh humiliate the normal dude. You know what I mean? Saying you sh he, you smashed this guy, baby mama, on a public song. Then the song was bumping and had a good beat, and that song was carried over the U.S. You know what I mean? People rapping it people rapping a lot of stuff so we got to be mindful of what we saying in these songs we got to be mindful of the lives we putting our family members in danger just off rap beef because you notice a lot of these rappers don't be the one that die you know what i mean Dolph end up leaving before his time but nine times out of ten it's family members that's leaving it's it's the mother it's the baby mother i know people in memphis they baby mama got killed behind some street stuff you know what i mean they brothers i think this is black young's the third brother getting killed in memphis like for real correct me if i'm wrong if it ain't the third it's the second for sure but yeah like my ain't currently losing family members man because people in their ego we not even beefing over nothing that it should it shouldn't even be no beef man like People dying over no reason. Like back in the day when our people was dying, we, we had martyrs dying for a specific cause, trying to get more freedom. You know what I mean? Now that it feels that, cause we, cause we still not free. Now that it feels that we have a little more freedom, it's like we just getting money and we don't know how to act. So we just abuse the power that we have, the influence that we have. That's why we got all these fans so fanned out that they feel like they actually part of this gang beef. You know what I mean? People got to realize that their words are very powerful. You can make people feel a certain type of way through what you say and what tone you say it in. A lot of these people, family members, are losing their lives because of they beef. You know what I mean? When it comes down to it, beef and bullets don't have any name because when somebody's trying to get at you, they'll kill your mama, grandmama, your parrot, your bird, your animal, it don't matter. I ain't even trying to be funny, but when so, when beef is on, they want to kill anything that you're emotionally attached to, whether they be your female, your mother, your science teacher that you still visit. You know what I mean? Like, people are getting pushed in the line of fire who don't deserve to be killed. You know what I mean? Like I said, I don't know what they brothers, his brother and stuff got going. I'm just saying... Look at the bigger picture of people who do end up dying when it comes to a lot of these situations. You know, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just senseless murders because it's murders that's ongoing because of sometimes females or sometimes 
egos or this person did something they didn't like they said something in the song and it sound like a situation that happened similar that happened to them you know what i mean so they are he talked about me you know what i mean whole time dude ain't even talking about him it's little, little things that's getting the whole generation of people shot shot up and killed just because a song somebody made because the rapper really never is the one that faces the the bullies you know what i mean it's always the close the family members they the only thing the rappers get is the emotional hurt you know what i mean but they always get to survive it's always the people who don't really have nothing to do with nothing getting killed you know what i mean like i don't know black youngster brother he could have got killed off something totally not related to this you know but it's just like i just want to talk about it because it's just like what the fans doing they getting in there putting on uh, uh under the comments of the people who were putting the death talking about some long live dog pre you know what i mean the dolphin emojis these people really think this is a movie you know what i mean this they think this is a game because they actually act, acting like they are part of this beef when they were telling dirk to slide for fun they all up under his comments you know what i mean a lot of people who have no life a lot of these people be children and a lot of these people will worry these rappers to death until they go get some get back until they go do something you know what i mean a lot of these Fans know they have to influence and they know these rappers read these comments, you know. They have a lot of influence with people don't know. People be thinking these fans don't have nothing to do with some of these murders. Yes, they do because they be on these folks' pages nonstop. Every picture they post. Go slide for Dolph. Go slide for Dolph. Keep Glock telling him. Go slide for Keep. Go slide for Dolph. You know what I'm saying? All under uh Yo Gotti. Talking about, you know what I'm saying? Threatening him. Doing, you know, it's like a lot of a lot of little petty stuff that these folks be feeding into, man. These folks need to stop feeding into all that demonic energy, all these negative energy, all these people who sit at home, hate that they got jobs, and hate that they got to do stuff that they feel like they don't want to do. A lot of people think they mess their lives up, so they want to go to their favorite rapper, enemy, and talk trash about him, don't even know him. You know what I mean? It's a lot of this egotistical beef need to stop that's what we need to call it egotistical beef because always somebody getting killed over the ego either they send these rappers send their family up family members up to get killed or go to jail and all and all the victim get out of it is they're gonna put your name in the song and say you was real or you're gonna go to jail and they're gonna put money in your books but you're not free you lost your freedom just because somebody, just because your cousin was mad. He a rapper. Your cousin was mad. Okay, I'm finna go slap my cousin. I'm finna go rap my. I'm a, I'm a part of his entourage. I'm finna go kill. You know what I mean? We see what happened to uh Jeezy, homeboy Clem. He coming out and spilling all the beans on Jeezy. Talking about some. He in an interview saying, man, yeah, uh, Jeezy was saying, f gucci man f all that and he did the verses you know what i mean but the clem dude was basically saying jesus was implanting in his head that he didn't like gucci but whole time he was doing interviews with him or saying he would do songs with him you know what i mean a lot of people got to have their own mind and let their situation be their situation just say bro this ain't even got to end no blood shit bro make you this song and say you don't want no action or whatever just just leave it alone don't even put the main name in no song you know just leave it at that because a lot of people can die behind it. You know what I mean? We got a lot of generations of children, fathers who getting killed. And they growing up wondering where their dad is. So they growing up having resentment for this certain rapper or this certain rapper's family. You know what I mean? Because that's how I be with everybody. Some people, man, everybody get it. People got to stop being so tricked by this matrix. I'm just, man, it's just crazy how my people be doing, like how they be killing each other. And don't get in my comments talking about other races kill each other too. We know that. This this go that goes without saying. But when I'm talking about a specific race, which is my race, don't intervene and try to break that up and say everybody we ain't talking about every race. I'm talking about the race that I grew up around, the hood that I'm still in, where I hear bullet shots almost every other night. Real bullet shots. This ain't no stuff that's being portrayed over social media. This ain't nothing. That I gotta watch on the news. This is something that's I'm, that I'm actually hearing every other night. Every night. I'm like, these folks really warring with each other. Each other. People that look like you, your skin tone, your complexion. 
I'm not saying go put that on somebody else's race. You know what I mean? I'm just saying like how we stay in the hood and we really have nothing else better to do than to shoot at each other, eat this toxic food that they putting in the corner stores for us, which is helping the mindset achieve that ability to want to be aggressive like that in a poverty area where it's no money. When somebody finally gets some money, everybody leave and don't put nobody on game. So they're left with a lot of aggression. You know what I mean? It's basically like every man for himself when it comes to black people. That's what I'm seeing. Like I said, it's, it is black people who are here who helping other black people. It's black people who helping other races. Everybody, like me. When I make videos, I welcome all races. You know what I mean? Because I know every white person ain't racist. I know every Mexican ain't racist. I know it's black people out there who like white people. You know what I mean? That's what I'm about. That's what I'm for. But when it comes down to what I'm seeing right now, because I'm still in the hood. So that's what I'm going to talk about. I'm going to talk about what I see. I don't really see white people where I'm from in my hood. You know what I'm saying? But I'm telling you what I hear and what's going on. Like, you're canceling out your own race. That's why this guy said back in the day, man, it was a racist white guy. He was on he was on the interview. He was like, we don't need to be around no more. He was like, KKK don't need to be around no more. Black people killing themselves. You know what I mean? And we doing it at a fast rate. Because when it come down to statistics, can't no news tell me about no statistics when I hear gunshots there in the air of the night. You know what I'm saying? So they can say, news can come out tomorrow and say, Black people done let up, let up on killing each other. You know what I mean? It's only been a 10% crime rate. But what I'm hearing, that ain't what, that ain't the statistics in my ears. You know what I'm saying? So I'm talking about off life experience. People think this is a game. They get all, they get all these suburban kids all in the comments typing P.R.E. P.R.E. Cause that was your favorite rapper. C.M.G. C.M.G. Cause that's your favorite rapper. Man, these folks losing their lives, bro. This shit is real. You know what I mean? Little kids witnessing drive-bys. They don't care who they shoot. They don't care who they shoot in front of. You know what I mean? It's man, this is Memphis. Like it's a lot of places that's dangerous, but man, these folks were killed. These, these people done got killed at the police precinct. Cause they hoop at the precinct. And people done lost their lives at the police precinct. People don't care. When people are mad and angry, bro, people gotta get their emotions intact because you not gonna be mad for the rest of your life. That person that fouled you in that basketball game, you're going to get over that, my G. Your baby mama who cheated on you with your homeboy, you're going to get over that. Don't go kill your homeboy or kill your baby mama just because you were so upset. Now you in jail space. You doing life. You know what I mean? Or you didn't, or you didn't got away with it or somebody came and retaliated and killed you. All because you was mad. You ain't have time to... You had time to assess the situation. Like, okay. Is this really worth it? What is this going to do? Is this going to bring my brother back? Is this going to bring my sister back? Is this going to bring my auntie back? It's not going to do that. That's why people need to get more spiritually in tune. Because when somebody leaves this earth, earth in this vessel, they never die. You can call upon their spirit and actually be still be with them. Nobody actually dies, man. You know what I mean? The wood have been pulled over a lot of people's eyes to think that we actually leave this vessel and we just sleep eternally. You know what I mean? You still can access that type of that energy. You know what I mean? But you still shouldn't wonder. So be, be so quick to leave this vessel or exit somebody else out their vessel. Where the guns come from? Black people, we, we didn't invent these guns. We didn't place them in the hood. Where the crack come from? We didn't put this stuff in our hood. What did these buildings get built? You know what I mean? Who built these buildings? You know? Like, we got to realize, man, where we live in it and the other areas we see that don't look like the areas where we live in it and wonder why and question it. Why are we living in this rat-infested, roach-infested place where there's other people out here that's getting offers for five million dollars, one hundred twenty million dollars for a basketball game. Floyd Mayweather, thirty thousand dollars if he lose the fight. Not to mention if he win, he getting like a hundred some. 
You know what I mean? But we don't be, we don't take our anger out on them. We don't be mad at them as much as we mad at each other for being broke. Nigga, I'm broke like you. What you mad at me for? You know what I mean? Because I'm broke. Are you broke? You know? Now you got to be, you know why you got to be spiritually rich? You know what I mean? That's why you, you got to let this money, this physical money not make you. Make yourself, create yourself, build yourself up. So you'll be able to build other people up. Because if you don't do that, you're going to be so lost in the sauce with everybody else trying to find your way and thinking that way is the way to go because he made it that way. Nah, man, everybody ain't got to be no gangster. Everybody ain't got to be no shooter, be no driller. You know, if that's what that female, female like, man, keep on going about your business, king. You know what I mean? Queen, if you're dealing with somebody who want to sell drugs, just do that, live that life. They don't judge, just let them do that. But go on about your business. Go find you somebody who's educated and want to see their people thrive. We want to see everybody thrive. Don't want to be a part of their life because we all have fell victim to that matrix in some type of way. But if you're not stuck in that frequency, don't go get nobody over their frequency. Try to change people's mindset. You know what I mean? Don't walk around just talking people's ear off. You know what I'm saying? Start you a podcast. Start you something that can build traction because when people see numbers, that's when they want to come. You know, give a, give people a reason to want to be attracted to you. Lighten up your aura. Eat freshness. You know what I'm saying? Eat life. Breathe life into your body. Talk life into your body. We got to start speaking life instead of speaking death. All these demonic rap lyrics, all this just demonic energy getting played between our ears and we just listening to it and just soaking it up and thinking it has it has no psychological effect on the brain at all. Even if you listen to that music for 2.3 seconds, if it's a negative message, why are you listening to that message? Those words that you're thinking, an image is going to display in your head about you being gangster or the other person who rapping being gangster. But after you cut that song off, it might just go away. Sometimes it don't always go away in some people's head. They carry their image of those lyrics throughout their whole life, throughout their day with them. They want to do what Black Youngster did that whole day. They ready, they ready to smack somebody. Or they ready to see some booty shaking. They ready to, you know what I'm saying? They ready to see something that they just heard or saw. But yeah, man, I ain't trying to make this video too long, but I just had to say that, man. We got to stop killing each other. Like I said, we, we ain't talking about what other races do. I'm talking about my race right now and what I'm seeing in my view. You know what I mean? All violence needs to stop. You know what I mean? But like I said, I know we live in a world of duality balance positive and negative i know it ain't just gonna all gonna stop at once and i know it's not gonna be all peaches and cream all the time but it seems like the evenness is overweighing the positive when it comes to a lot of these interactions with people a lot of these comments and just a lot of these just just day by day man you know what i'm saying what's the reason we not we not battling over anything that could help us. When somebody died, they just it's just they did. You know what I mean? So somebody else got to die. Back in the day, when somebody died, it was for freedom. Okay, we can vote now. Enough people sh shed blood. We can vote, even though I feel like that's not important. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of stuff that our ancestors felt that was important, but they actually died for. It. They really died to. Free day people, you know what I'm saying? Free the slave. They died to walk amongst other areas and not be beaten to death. You know what I mean? A lot of people died for a lot of stuff that we get to do today. Died for reading. You know what I'm saying? Died to be in certain colleges and schools. If that's the thing you want to do, if you want to go to a college, you know what I mean? To go to different parks and just relax and be themselves. But what we down over now? A block? Uh, you are uh, you dissed my gang? You had sex with my baby mama? What? I'm a kid. Come on, man. The most pettiest stuff. A whole life is gone. This person then came on this earth, was born, grew up, went through school, got out of high school, all to be killed because he had sex with the wrong person, or he stepped on the wrong person's shoes, or he got into a fight with the wrong person's brother.
Now he had to lose his life. All this stuff he done went through, he lost his life in an instant. You know what I mean? I don't want to make this video too long, man, but yeah, man, we got to do better, man. Y'all make sure y'all hit the like button, hit the notification bell so you be notified every time I post a video. But yeah, y'all be blessed on walking that smoke.